Choosing good secure passwords is a very important thing on the internet these days and it can be quite difficult to pick a good and secure password and the problem with it is you know you might just say okay well I'm gonna pick my dog's name so you go with like Fluffy for example that might be your dog's name and you go Fluffy and it goes okay well I need some numbers and you go okay well Fluffy one two three four that's my password very secure no not really you think okay well I could choose my kid's name uh, Tom, or maybe your kid's name is Jerry. Tom, Jerry, one, two, three. And that would be like your first kid's name, your second kid's name, and first, right? Because you're randomly picking something as a password. And this might be an okay password, but the problem is that when you're picking a password and it's not like somebody's going to be sitting there trying to crack your password all day long. What is actually trying to crack your password is something that looks like this. Just a little program running a little script that says, hey, if it's not this, could it be 1234? Could it be 1235? Could it be 1236? Could it be 1237? And something like this will run all day long just trying to figure out what your password is. And it's not like it's a human sitting there doing it. Picking a good password can be quite difficult. And sometimes you'll go to a website um, and it will show you, you know, oh, well, you know, we're secure. And they'll have like a secure lock or something, like a little image like this. And it says, hey, you're secure. Images like this don't mean anything. You can find them. They're a dime a dozen. They're they're free. They're not a dime a dozen. They're completely 100% free. So there's a couple of different websites that you can do go to to get random passwords generated for you. One is called Passwords, and I'll post links to these as well below the video if you're looking at this on YouTube. Um, but PasswordsGenerator.net is one. Um, another one you can go to is random.org slash passwords. And that will let you generate a password as well. So let me give you an example of random.org's password generator. It looks like this. This is the random.org website. You can say, hey, um, I need to have just one password, but each password should be at least 18 characters in length. All right, so you can switch to advanced mode. You can do lots of different things on here. The thing you might want to do here is go ahead and click get passwords. This will give you a whole list of passwords if you choose more than one. You can see I've just got a random password here. Or I can go back and I want to say, okay, I'm going to generate eight possible passwords because that's about the most random it can get. Or, you know, a, uh, 14 possible passwords. Each one should be 18 characters in length. Okay, I'm going to get my passwords. And then it will just give you some random character passwords. You might also have to have like a special character on here. So you could take your password from here and then you could just say, okay, well, I'm going to add a star on the front and an exclamation point on the back. And that would be a good way to generate a relatively secure password. Choose something like this, and then you might look at this and go, well, how the heck am I ever going to remember this password? We covered in a different video. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out at the end of the video here. How to store passwords and how to keep track of saved passwords. You can do that through a few different tools, uh, but the one I'll detail in that next video is called LastPass. I hope this has shown you at least a couple of ways to generate secure passwords for logging into websites. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.